there. I had a request from Love, Wisdom, Grace here on YouTube to get a look inside of the container, the box that I use when I go out and do my urban sketching. Now, I have to say, this has changed over the years. When I first started out, I believe I was carrying a black satchel. In fact, I'm still carrying that black satchel, but now I just keep it in the back seat of my car. It has extra things in there like scissors or maybe an extra pad of paper, that type of thing. But I primarily work out of this box. This is a suitcase type box. It's cardboard. I got it at the boxes that you see at Michael's. And I either got it with a 40% off or a 50% off coupon. I don't remember which. It is, it is cardboard. And I may need to eventually, if I wear this down, I may need to reinforce this maybe with some black duct tape. I don't know. Right now, it's serving its purpose. It's got really nice corner metal tags. I'm just, I'm really happy with it. I try not to carry it by the handle because I do have it loaded quite heavy and I don't want to put too much stress on it. So when I carry it to my car, I carry it like this. But mostly, I just leave it in my car. And I always have it with me when I want to do my urban sketching because I work out of the front seat of my car. You guys have seen my videos. So I open it up. <laughs> it's really it's really loaded now I ha carry the this flat pad of paper in there because I've started doing my ATCs I also have this watercolor Strathmore art journal that I've been working out of because I got these oh I got these three for the price of one when they had a big sale on I'm just really happy with them however I can't put all of that in there, so I just carry this separately. And these things change, but generally I have some sort of paper pad in here. I also have this little paper pad booklet that I made off of a video that I watched with Kathy Johnson. I've mentioned her several times in my videos. And I need to, I want to fill this up. I started. I started it earlier this year, but then I went to my ATCs and my Strathmore journal, but I do keep it in there in case I get inspired. I have my paper, which I call my my wipe-off paper pad here, which is just, a, well, this was, I also got this. I watch for these pads when they come on sale, but this is just a nice little palette of paper, watercolor paper, and I just hate wasting my color. I mean, even the student grade watercolors are, are you have to pay good money for them. <laughs> so why waste it? So when I wipe off my water brushes, I do try to wipe them off on this pad of paper. And then I have some nice backgrounds for ATCs or tags or anything that I want to use them for. Generally, you'll see stripes, stripes like this. I think Gina said once she saw snow in the mountains on one of these. I think it was this one, maybe. I don't know which one she saw it off of, and I pulled a couple paper pads out of here. So I keep that in there. I always go to this. I keep this extra baggy because you'll see when I'm using my watercolor paints, I'm going to open these up. I will say my watercolor paints are, I do not try to keep them neat and clean. For one thing, this watercolor can be reused. Before I start watercoloring, I have this little spritzer. I actually activate my watercolors a couple minutes before I begin my sketching. I keep this little spray bottle of water now, in my car in the back seat, I have a tray of bottled water that's been in there for <laughs> several months, and I don't drink out of it. I just use it for in case I need some extra water for my watercolor or for whatever. 
So I do have my water. These win are Winsor Newtons. This is a smaller one. This is the original one that I started with, and I have refilled. I've refilled the white, and this was green, and I put black in there because I do like black. I like my gray tone, so I put white and black in there. And I haven't refilled any of the others, but it's getting there. The yellow's going to be the, well, this is a medium yellow, but you can tell that I'm, I, I just mix when, when I need something I mix. This is yellow ochre. I think this is a medium yellow and this is a light yellow. But my watercolors do get quite messy. I, I like that. I just feel like that's how I do my color mixing. And you can see this is another set that I have here. Now this is a brand new set, but I needed a palette. And <laughs> I just turned my water, I, I turned this one upside down and I used this as a palette while I'm now while I'm while I'm working and you'll see that in some of my videos and some of my more recent videos and I'll just work right off of the bottom of this watercolor set now this is also Winsor Newton and you can see I I might have used it a little but I haven't used it a, a whole lot this has more colors I I do like my Winsor Newton but I, let's just say, this is the first brand that I bought when I started buying watercolors. I do want to try some of the other watercolors. I would like to try Daniel Smith and Peerless and some of these other things that are out there. But right now, I'm going to use what I have because I have it. And why let it set? And urban sketching, you know, you're going out, you leave this in the car. This is, this works for me. I'm very, I'm very happy with my Winsor Newton watercolors. So I have my trays of watercolor. I have a zippy bag that I put just my pens. I finally separated all my pens and pencils out into my little Ziploc bag. These are the ones that I'm using now. I'm using I'm using Faber Castell sepia. Faber Castell sepia. I have a couple sets of them. I have these Stedler pens that Giselle Grenier sent me. I don't use them on a regular basis because they're nice pens and I don't want to use them up, but they are in here. And then I have some Uniball pens. I do like these. I like the uh, Zig and the Copic Multiliner. It's in here someplace. I like those for because the fine points when I'm doing my ATCs I like to sketch with those real tiny fine points that's how I get the detail on those ATCs so I have my bag of pins and and I believe I have a white Derwent in there a white Derwent pencil yesterday I happened to be at in Oconomowoc Wisconsin at the Ben Franklin craft store and that's where I find my Stabilo pencils. I got a sepia and a white one. So I do want to put these. I want to put these in here. I think I want to put them over in this box. I got my eyeglasses. They seem to accumulate in here because I'm never sure whether I have enough eye, whether I have my eyeglasses with me or not. So these are just dollar store reading glasses. I'm constantly buying them because I have a pair in every room in the house and in in the car and in my sketch box and in my purse and well you know how that story goes. So I have my pens and pencils and my eyeglasses. I have this set of calligraphy pens that I use on occasion but not all that much. I I bought these when I was doing scrapbooking, but I keep them in here because I think I might need them. I have some watercolor pencils. I do use these on occasion too. I have them if I need them. I put my ink tense blocks in there. This is the set that I use. This is the, the set of 12 that I, very first set I ever bought. And I used them in my studio inside the house here for the longest time. And then I decided that I wanted to carry them with me. So I have another set that I use in the house now, and then I just carry these with me. I'd love to have every color in the 
world of these ink tents box, but these will do for now. I have some Winsor Newton markers. When these I got with 50% off coupons when they first came out. I do like these. I reach for these before I reach for these, but I carry these with me because I like them. I have some, these are just fast food restaurant napkins that were tucked in my, <laughs> in the sack when I bought my, my hamburger and I didn't want to toss it out. I do use these for wipe off the papers or to keep my hands dry. So why throw them away? I'll use them. This is the bag that I keep my water brushes in. I'd love to have a bag full of water brushes, but in the meantime, I'll use what I have. First of all, I have one of these little pipettes. I got a bag of 10 of these. They're really inexpensive. I got mine at Jago's. I'll fill my water brushes by using my pipette to draw up water out of my water bottle and then squeeze it into my water brushes. And I usually have to fill these maybe once or twice while I'm out sketching, depending on which ones I use and how heavy I use the water. I have the Royal Lang Nickel set. I like the blue one a lot. I have the green one here at home, but I like this blue one because it's big and bushy. I have two of the red ones. This red one, for some reason, is bushier than this red one, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just that I used it more, or maybe I got a different set of bristles in there. I'm not sure why that happened, but hey, I use them. I have my Ranger medium tipped brush. This came in one of my little Windsor Newton sets. I have the Ranger broad flat brush. I like that. I have the Pentel water brush. I do like my Pentel water brush. And then I, this is the most recent water brush that I purchased. And this is a Ninji medium water brush. So I keep them in this little bag because then I know where they are. <laughs> and you'll see while I'm working that I will take my water brushes out of the bag and my pencils out of the bag. And I'll put them up here on the lid of my box. And I'll also put my, my spray water up there too while I'm working. Then I just know where to reach for it. I have my fountain pen set in here if I want to write. I keep that in here. I have this mixed media pad of paper. I use this specifically if I'm going to do fast action sketches. So I'm not really doing sketches where I spend a lot of time. I was out sketching at Starbucks and I was just walk, watching people walk up to the store and these are just, they're scribbles, but you catch the people while they're walking, and you get a sense of the movement. And then, here's another one where I develop the movement a little bit more, and here's just a guy sitting at the table. These are, I call them Starbucks people. I did a video on these. This, I also like this because I can tuck it in my purse and take it inside, and I went into... Jimmy John's one day and I was having a sandwich and I sat at the back table and sketched. Nobody nobody bothered me and I didn't bother anybody so I carry that with me. This is just a piece of scrap paper. <laughs> I have my core watercolor sets that I attended a class here in Madison at Ben's Hobby Shop and I got a, they gave us well, I think the class was like $35, and they gave us a $15 discount. I thought that was pretty good. That was almost half off. So I went ahead and bought a set of the Earth Tone for watercolors. I haven't used them too much. I keep this little Jimmy John's tag here, but it's got little round pans in there for the, the colors. I haven't used them, not because I don't like them, because... I'm using my other ones right now, but I will get to using these. 
I have a couple of sets of Faber Castell pins here that I purchased on with 40% coupons off. I haven't used them yet, but I have them if I need them. I have some extra universal ink cartridges for my for my um, fountain pen. I keep those in there because I do change them. I carry a set of pliers because I also carry some extra watercolors in the tubes here that I just buy when I see them on sale and I have a hard time getting these caps off without the help of a plier. So I think I got these either at the dollar store or at Walgreens. So I just wanted a set to carry with me. I have some extra Higgins ink that I like to draw with. I have my pencil sharpener because I do carry I carry some pencils. You saw me put this sepia one in the white. These are Stabilo if I want to sharpen. I think this is a Prismacolor pencil sharpener. So I carry that. And I carry a lot in here. I have some Daniel Smith watercolor ground. And it comes in a little bit larger jar than this. But I didn't want to put that entire jar in there. So I put in a little jelly jar that I have. And I found that if I make a mistake... And I rarely go back and cover up my mistakes, but I do do it if I just can't live with it anymore. And I, did, I think I did that on one of my barn drawings. I had the perspective on the roof fall off, and I used this watercolor ground to correct that. I have a $5 bill that I just stuck in here yesterday or the day before. It was change when I went got something to eat. I figure, well, I'll use that the next time. I have some glue in case I want to collage something down. I have some extra cards for my phone. And in here I just have, well, I have some more universal ink refills. I have a Sharpie pen. I have pens and pencils. A Stabilo pencil. An ink pen. An ink pen. A universal pen. I like these, uh, not universal, uh, uniball pen. I do like my uniball pens. I love the flow of the ink when I'm sketching, especially right after I'm finished and my page is still wet. I find that these work really well on wet paper. I have a Sharpie medium point pen. I have a knife here. And then I just have, uh, well, I have cap to one of my water brushes. Another cap to another one of my water brushes. More, more SD cards. I run out of SD cards. I have extra in here. And then I just have some extra tubes of watercolor paint that I get when I see it on sale if I want to refill my water pans. I also just recently started carrying this Tim Holtz plastic ruler around in here because I'll fill up a, a page of ATCs and I want to measure out some more on the go. So I find my, I like this Tim Holtz ruler because it's got the squares measured off on it. So I keep that in here. I have a piece of scratch paper if I want it. So that's basically what's inside my, my box when I go out doing my water my urban sketching. Now I will say I work from behind the steering wheel. I guess I could carry this. I could carry this if I went outside of the car, but I very rarely do that. In fact, I don't think can't think of a time in recently where I've ever gone outside of my car. I like working behind the steering wheel. For one thing, my steering wheel acts as an easel to hold my pad of paper. I put my camera up on the visor and I can record my videos, which is fun for me to share all my videos with everyone. And I like I like the semi-privacy. I will not say that it's entirely private because I find that people do know they notice you. 
there, there's just like a hidden radar <laughs> going on there. I'm not sure what that is, but there does seem to be some sort of a of a hidden radar, <laughs> I call it. So that happens. I'm okay with that. Um, if they want to come knock at my window and ask me what I'm doing, I will share with them what I'm doing. But if I were to carry all of this outside, for one thing, I guess I could clip my... I'm trying to create a way that I can go outside of my car. Now, I could clip my... rig up a clip on the top of my box here somehow. I don't want to destroy this box, but I could get an old suitcase and somehow get a clamp to where my camera fits over my work. I might do that. I'm still trying to dream that up. <laughs> so, you might see that in the future some sometime. Now, see, I leave these open because I don't like to close them up while they're still wet. And I'll just take this baggie and just kind of drape it over there like this. They're dry now, so it doesn't really matter too much. I was going to put these caps inside of my watercolor brush. These caps, I like them, but I find that they very rarely stay on the brush. <laughs> and then I have my eyeglasses. I'm only going to put two in here. I'm going to keep the other set out because I certainly don't need three pair of eyeglasses. And my ink pens. They're all there when I need them again. And I believe that's it. Let's, let's see, how am I going to do this like this? And I close it up. Now, any old suitcase would work. I mean, I have vintage suitcases that are probably stronger than this, but I like this one. I like the words on it. I liked it when I saw it in the store. Nothing is more worth more than this day. Believe in miracles. Just breathe. Be grateful. Dream big. Keep calm. Dance like nobody's watching. Create your own happiness. I like to keep this beside me in the car. So it just sits beside me and all glance over at these words. And they just, I find them very encouraging. So that's what's inside my watercolor urban sketching box. I hope that you've enjoyed the tour. And I will see you on the next page.